one that a lot of people know about already, but it's so disgusting I'm going to have to say something about it. And no one sound a waitress named Stacy Fernal was recently fired by the restaurant's owner. What'd she do? She shaped her head for a cancer fundraiser, partly because her dad died from it. She was fired because the owner, a complete asshole named Dan Hillier, said that it violates the dress code or something. Smooth move, shithead. This incident at Nathaniel's restaurant comes right on the heels of two similar PR incidents at Tim Hortons. One involving an employee who was fired for giving one free Timbit to a small child, the other involving a pregnant homeless woman being thrown out of one of the restaurants. The fact is that, even at the best of times, these sort of moves look completely horrible. Since restaurant staff, by definition, work directly with the public, they ought to be aware of this already. Hillier himself has admitted that it looks bad, but he doesn't care. He also claims to have had some support from high-end customers. And people wonder why it spies fancy lifestyles. All this begs the question, how would these fine upstanding people have reacted if Ms. Fernal actually had cancer? Then again, in an age when Walmart can sue former employees who have suffered brain damage, I can't say that I'm that shocked when some heartless fucker would actually fire someone from raising cancer awareness. I just hope they don't get away with it. Incidentally, despite Hilliard's arrogance, it looks like the backlash from this has already been pretty harsh. As of the time I'm recording this, Nathaniel's restaurant has been shuttered ever since the story was made public. And since there's nothing I enjoy more than a good old-fashioned tar and feathering, here's an example of some of the comments made on a restaurant review website. These people are a disgrace. Scumbags, this restaurant deserves to vanish quickly. If you do decide to eat here, I hope you get cancer from the charred broiled steaks. I'd rather have read that Nathaniel's had a room problem than to hear about this behavior. Screw you bastards. I wouldn't be caught dead here. I'll be making a special trip to Owen Sound and going out of my way not to die at this restaurant. Are any of your male employees bald by any chance? You get the idea. Incidentally, some of the reviews that actually address the cooking say that the chef is an incompetent jerk, too. To be brutally honest, between this incident, the attitude of those Tim Hortons, and people who will actually stand by and watch when an old man's been run down in the street, there are times when I just wish I could get a vasectomy right now and get it over with. Because it sure as hell isn't the kind of world I want my kids to live in. But sadly, I have no idea what I can do about it myself. Myself and many other people rant and rave about it until the cows come home. God knows people aren't aware of that by now. But if anything, the world seems to be getting worse. It's at the point where I honestly pray that an asteroid will come to hit the Earth and wipe us all out. Because to be honest, I'm not sure if, anymore, if there's anything worth saving. Enough said.